Hey guys, it's Debbie with Driftwood and Shine. Today we're going to show you how to make a two-tiered stand using the new Dollar Tree scalloped edge um, cupcake holder. That's all our supplies that you see there. Uh, make sure you have a finger protector because we're going to be using some hot glue. Now we're going to hot glue the tops of our wire together to start with. And you can get these wires from Walmart, from Hobby Lobby, from Michaels. Okay, you just hot glue them together and then we're gonna wrap around it with a piece of jute to be able to hold it together because we know the hot glue is not gonna hold it completely. But we'll wrap that jute on it, put us a little pe a bit of hot glue on it and then we'll continue on now you want to start by getting your tray and placing your tray on each side you can see there that we have removed the center sticker I'll show you how to do that in a little bit but we're just going to put some hot glue on the side you can't see me putting the hot glue and then we're going to put E6000 right beside the hot glue and then we're going to put it back there. We're doing both sides. Hot glue and E6000. Okay, and then you just stick them together and hold them. Let it catch really good. Okay, now I'm going back and showing you how to remove the sticker. But y'all all know how. To remove a sticker, all you have to do is, when I am putting a little bit of hot glue on there, it, it was a little bit loose. The hot glue is to hold it right now. The E6000 is to hold it permanent, guys. Okay, now we're fixing to remove the sticker. And y'all know you can just heat the sticker up and then it'll release and you can pull it right off most of the time. Sometimes you have to heat it two or three times. Then we're gonna take the sticker off the second shelf. Okay, now we're going to take our second shelf, find our middle, make sure we have, make sure you have even on, even amounts on both sides. Then we're going to put us some hot glue right there in the two parts that we determined needed the, the glue. Then we're sticking it up in there and holding it till it catches. These rings are 13.75 inches, 13 inches, 0.75, so almost 14 inches. So as long as, I believe as long as you have a ring that's at least 13 inches, you could make one of these two shelves out of these cupcake holders. They're so neat. Scalloped edge cupcake holders at the Dollar Tree. Those came from the Dollar Tree. The rings came from Walmart. We're using hot glue to hold them now, and then we're going to put E6000 over it to make it more of a permanent hole. And guys, you don't see it on here, but I did go back and wrap those areas with twine I wrapped around the wire and through the scallop with twine to hold it to make sure that my top shelf didn't fall okay there's our shelf okay now we're gonna come back and embellish it some we're going to take some totally, totally dazzled gems. And you can see, guys, I have also gold leafed around the edges and even a little bit on the wire. Here, I'm taking the ring off of the little jewelry piece. I'm putting E6000, and I'm just putting it right over that jute I told you about that I wrapped it with. You can see there in the picture the jute where it's wrapped. I forgot I turn, didn't turn my light on, so I turned my light on. And we're putting that piece. And we'll turn it around and put two pieces on the other side. And guys, I used E6000 for that because I want it to soak into that twine, the E6000, so it's a permanent hold. I don't want it to where those jewels can get knocked off. I'm just using my... um needle nose pliers to squeeze my bottle of E6000. If any of y'all have ever used a tube of E6000, you know how hard it can get to come out. And there's the jewels on that side. 
Now we're going to fix up jewels for down at the bottom where we connected the wire to the the um, scalloped cupcake holder. We put hot glue and E6000 on it, and then we're going to put it right over where the metal meets the tray. See? Right over where the metal meets the tray so it covers that up. Then we'll do the other side also. Guys, these are real easy to make. I mean, it took a little finagling to hold it together and make sure it stayed. And but um, as you can see from the permanent, the final picture, I mean, it's it's been made now for three or four days and it's still together. And I can pick it up and move it and and do whatever with it. But. There you go, there's the jewel on the side to cover that. And then you'll see see the gold leaf, that's, that's awesome. Now here's our finished product. Please go follow Driftwood and Shine for a lot more ideas using Dollar Tree items and other items, guys. Thrifted, yard sales, all. Thank you, bye.